mean by this? Setting expectations. Let's say, for example, a person, smart, mashallah, he's getting good grades in, 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 in high school, and he sets expectations. He says, you know what, inshallah, I'm going to go to university, I'm going to study engineering, and when I graduate, I'm going to do very well, I'm going to open up my, my uh, company, and inshallah, my company will become one of the best companies of engineering, inshallah. So they set expectations, standards, ambitions, which is great, good stuff, good. But then, for example, say they go to first year university and let's say, for example, God forbid, God forbid, something happens and his or her father falls ill. His father falls ill to the point where the father cannot support the family anymore. He has to drop out of university and go work. Now, this individual, he might feel as a failure. You know, his expectations were, this is my dreams. My dream was to succeed. And maybe he had the ability, he had the potential, he is a smart person. But, subhanAllah, what they call it, life gets in the way. She has an expectation, this is what I would like. And sometimes these expectations could not be as ambitious. They could be simple expectations. Simple expectations. A person, for example, says, I, you know, on the weekend, by the weekend, I will finish reading this chapter. And doesn't get to finish reading the chapter. Something's very simple. But yet, says, you know, a person starts to think that, my gosh, every time I set up an expectation, something happens and just, I never meet, I'm a failure. I can never meet my expectations. I can never develop, reach my goals. And even though these goals are so simple, they're simple goals. I'm, I mean, reading a chapter, I can't even read a chapter. Or something along these lines. So then, what's the point of me setting any goals anymore? Khalas, people start falling down, feeling down. Think of the positive things that you have done. Don't say I'm a loser. No, alhamdulillah. Mu'mineen, we are especially who are the followers of Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam We are people who inshallah will be with Imam Ali salamullahi alayhi in Jannah. Are we losers? No, Allah. Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam says, كَيْفَ بِكُمْ إِذَا حُشِرْتُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ وَكَانَ عَلِي سَلَامُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ إِمَامُكُمْ أَيْنَ تَظُنُّونَ يَأْخُذُكُمْ أَوْ يَمْضِي بِكُمْ فقال سلام الله عليه هي الجنة والله الجنة والله الجنة والله Imam al-Sadiq says to some of his companions, how about you people, Shia? On the day of judgment, when you come to the mahshar and you look at the banner of Imam Ali, Imam Ali holding the banner, and you go with him, how would you feel then? Where do you think he's going to take you? And Imam Sadiq repeats it three times. He said he's going to take you to Jannah, Jannah, Jannah. Imagine. Are we losers? La wallah, we're not losers. Yes, things in dunya may be difficult, correct? I may not be the, the successful businessman. But I'm not a loser. I am successful. I am smart. I can do work. I can succeed. 